What's up guys, Zach from VR Forum here. Today we're gonna to be checking out Moz VR, which is a virtual reality enabled website that's compatible with the Oculus Rift. Now Moz VR was created for Mozilla's 10th anniversary and is described as a VR website about VR websites. The website is accessible through Mozilla's virtual reality browser, which can be downloaded at mozvr.com. I have a link to that in the description of the video for those of you who are too lazy to type it in. Now, if you're interested in starting your own virtual reality website, I'll leave a link in the description of the video to Mozilla's GitHub repo. And in that repo, you'll find tutorials and source code to help you get started on your project. All right, guys, let's hop right in and check out Moz VR. All right, so we've got the Moz VR website open in Mozilla VR. And one thing I did forget to mention is that you want to just make sure that you have your Rift display set to run in uh, 60 hertz refresh rate instead of 75 hertz. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but it says to do that, so who am I to argue with them? Um, also, you want to make sure that you actually have your Rift on and in extended mode before you launch uh, Mozilla VR, because that can cause some issues. Um, but since we now have it open, I'm going to hit F, go full screen, and whoa. Press Z to recenter myself here. So here's the uh, main menu. I am having some issues with crashing. I'm not sure why that is. Um, it could be just because I'm recording something. Uh, but for the most part, everything's running very smoothly. We're at the main menu now. Now, obviously, um, using a keyboard with the Rift is not ideal. Um, so if this was to become a, you know, actual browser solution, we need to come up with a way to... Um, have a keyboard, maybe a on screen, something or other with, with elite motion, for instance, that would work out pretty well. I've seen people do it that way. Um, anyways, so in order to bring up the main menu, I can just hit space here. And then there's a bunch of options here of the different things that are available to do on the website right now. Um, for instance, let's see, how do we select? I'm going to say enter. No, space again. That did not work. Okay, maybe clicking? Aha! So we use the mouse to um, click and we look around to select something. So this is just one of the demos that's available. Pretty standard, um, but really cool considering this is, you know, coming from a browser and it's not built in like Unity or something. Whoa! This is really neat. It's really pretty. Um, so I think this is just showcasing some of the capabilities. I don't really know if there's a point to this, but uh, we'll crash out again. Like I said, it's a little buggy. All right, get back into it here. All right, so we got it back up here. Obviously the crashing is gonna be a little bit of an issue, but it's so early in development right now, you know, I'm not worried about it. Um, and it could be for any reason. It's hard to say. Uh, all right, so let's just try something else here. Let's do, um, let's do the Polar Sea. This is just an example of what a, uh, a movie can look like in the future. Maybe YouTube will hop on board with this and be able to watch YouTube videos in 360 degrees. That'd be really cool. I mean, this is a video, like, I'm flying around, helicopter behind me here, now I'm in the cockpit, I got this guy, and this guy, sitting on their laps. <laughs> um, now obviously, with the uh, rift resolution right now, this isn't that amazing uh, looking, it's kind of like watching something on an old, like, backlit TV, but... This definitely has potential, and when uh, the higher ver when the higher resolution version of the Rift comes out, I don't see it as a problem. Very cool. Right. Now, hopefully, this won't crash out on me. Pull up the menu here. Let's see. Um. I don't have leap motion, but we're gonna check and see what this is. Hey guys, just chilling. Don't mind me. 
Oh, I forgot that I could actually click. Alright. Okay, so no, actually this you does require a leap motion to um, use. So since I don't have one, we're going to skip over that. But I'd love to see someone that has one uh, maybe show us what it's like to use it with the, with the browser. Um, let's see the panorama demo. Let's try this out. Uh, it's so cool. Like even the particles like floating around. Whoa. So obviously another thing that's going to change in the future is just um, taking pictures. Instead of just showing someone a 2D picture, you can now put them inside your experiences and let them look around for themselves to see what you saw. To me, that's amazing. This is definitely um, this is definitely the future. This is definitely going to change a lot of things. All right, let's see what else we got here. Polar Sea, we did. We did the homepage panorama. Uh, let's see what this information diving thing is all about. Okay, so just another little uh, demo of some of the cool stuff you could do with it. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, what does that say? I can't read it. It's just a little bit too low res to make out. Uh, that's the sky waves. I think that's what these are. Whoa. Boom, that's crazy. Ambient 213. So yeah, I'm not really sure uh, what the actual point of this is. It's really neat to look at, and it definitely could be a way to present information to people. Um, very interesting. Let's see where it looks like we're getting to the end here. See it. See what happens. And I think we crashed again. All right. So we've almost gone through all of these uh, little demos here. Let's check out. Let's check out um, a talk show. Okay, everybody ready? Here we go. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Whoa. Welcome to the LVR chat, talk chat show thing, episode four. We are here on the roof of the Mozilla building in San Francisco for sunrise because it's gorgeous and the beautiful bay lights are happening. We are here with the web VR team from Mozilla. This is Josh. Hello, Josh. Everybody. What's up, guys? Hello. Great job. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. Definitely. You heard me. <laughs> no, he didn't. Please look directly into the camera. It makes people feel like this is making eye contact with them. It's a great idea. And this is Diego. Hello. I'm Diego. Where? Hey, and Diego. We're going to talk about WebVR. Uh, Mozilla, if you didn't know, is making a new experimental browser in which has native VR support for the Oculus and eventually other headsets. Mm -hmm. So you want to talk a little bit about your project mm -hmm. and introduce people to the magics? Right. So imagine a podcast in the future, just a, a talk show. You're going to actually be sitting there and you'll be the guest. And I'll be talking directly at you, and it's we just going to... Uh, a very important member of our... The sense of immersion. Uh, works in Toronto. This is great. Of WebGL. I don't know. Uh, the video seems a little low-res and has given us, well, some WebGL weird uh, and then these VR APIs. distortion so going on. I'm not sure what's causing it. Um, built into Firefox. But for the most part, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to so spoil this whole thing for you. If you want to listen to what they're saying, uh, go ahead and download it for yourself. You um, but I think I ran through everything that's available right now. Um, okay. Can you guys shut up? I think I ran through everything that's available right now. Really cool. Really enjoyed it. Can definitely, as I said, see this um, as becoming the browser of the future. Um, if you're interested in getting started developing right now, like I said earlier, um, they actually have source code and tutorials up to start making your own... Uh, VR websites. I'm actually going to look into that. That seems pretty neat. Um, so I'll put a link to that in the description of the video. And you guys have a good day. We'll see you in the next video.